order at 6.30. Um, are there any additions or adjustments to the agenda? I don't have any, but uh, I don't think the recording has started. Oh, I got it, Rosemary. I don't think so. Actually, I should do it there. Rosemary, is this your presentation? Yes. Do you need one? I'm good. Recording in progress. Okay, let's start that again. So, calling that meeting to order at 6 30. Are there any additions or adjustments to the agenda? Yeah. Hearing none, next item of business is discussion. I'm like, I'm like, make a motion. Motion to enter into executive session to end the public works candidate. I motion to enter into executive session to interview a public works candidate as allowed by BSA 313A something or other. Three. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Me. All right. All right. We are officially in executive session at 631. Out of executive session at 7:37. Would anyone like to make a motion? I make a motion. Offer of minutes is provided for David Tanner and placed at in our current grid as an operator recognizing three years of experience. You mean CDL? They said CDO. CDO, yes. CDO, three years. Digit on background check. Background and reference. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Mark, you are aye? Yes, I am. Okay. That is unanimous. Eyes have it. So, <clears throat> Brian, you'll write up the acceptance letter. Yep. And will you run it by Jason and Rosemary just to make sure we have all the things we need in it? Sure. And who's going to reach out to David? We'll reach okay. out. Okay. Jason will reach out. Perfect. Okay. Good. Um, so, next up on the agenda reviewing the town budget. Have there been any changes uh, to the from the electronic copy that we received to the paper copy we're looking at? I sent a, an electronic copy this afternoon. Uh, and there's been no changes since that, but the electronic copy that I sent yesterday, we've made an, an update to. Okay. So the one that was sent this afternoon is good to look at. Yes. That should be the same as the print copy you're looking at. Thank you, Rosemary. All right. Everybody's got a copy. What are we looking at first, capital or budget? Uh, I was going to do budget first because I think that's going to be relatively quick, I hope. So on the budget, the changes that have been made uh, were the changes requested. I upped the obligated funds for the current year. Uh, to the, the full amount held in paving and updated the relevant expense the same. Uh, I added line, let me find it here. Line 164, uh, titled Community Grant Match, uh, and put $500 in for initial funding. 
and uh, I made some adjustments uh, to the capital equipment fund line items, the interest and the payments and the withdraw from the reserve fund uh, that are relevant to changes made on the highway equipment. What, what, what line? That is line 400-ish. Uh, it's three lines. Uh, so let me start at the bottom and work up. It is line 400. Saw a small change. Then line let's see interest is on line one eighty. Can we stop right there for sure? Uh, what I'm seeing from the uh, on the uh, reserve account, there's 22,000 for interest, and on line 180, it's 18,000. Why is there a disparity? Uh, are you looking at the most current so line 44, Eric? Under the yeah, line 44, the estimated annual interest for capital equipment, line 44, compared to Regular budget line 180. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Column E and then. Yeah. Uh, you're right. That E44 on the equipment fund should be updated to read 18364.45. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How is it wrong on that one and not on our regular budget? Doesn't make sense to me. Because the number 18 is going in on the interest line. But that, I hope. Um, I can't really hear what Roseberry is um, saying. Column L, it says 18364 for interest. So line 180 um, in the regular budget is also 18364. And Brian, you're you're quite confident that that 18663 number is right, not the not the 22,000 that's in the column E. That does include two estimated uh, loan amounts. So I'm I'm as confident as I can be about it, but I also acknowledge that it, it will change a little bit. Um, yeah, my point is that the 22,962 is wrong and the 18,364 is correct. Hold on, let me... No, neither of them are correct. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't see how that 18,364 can be correct because we would be paying on interest for through two tandem of the salt truck back on the grader, but that 18,000 just encompasses the grader in the back. Am I, am I behind, am I behind the wall? I was checking other stuff. No, it is. You're right. So it should be 18,364 plus the known, which would be column N on the highway equipment. So it would be 18,364 plus. Plus all those other numbers. Well, not all of them necessarily because wouldn't the, no, I guess we would still be paying for the tractors, but yes, sorry. Um, yeah, I guess all of those. Yeah. It is all of them, and it should be 24-405-76. Okay, so. Say that again, Brian. 
$24,405.76. Okay, so that just needs to be updated on line 180. Yeah. Which is going to change line 40 on the budget. Yes. Which is also going to change the amount that you're bringing in from the revenue restricted fund on line whatever it is. And what, wait a minute. Um, line 40. No. I just have a question. Can I ask it? Why, why would it change line 40? 40's revenue, right? 42, revenue restricted fund. Oh, okay. You said 40, and I was just confused on how it would change. Yeah, it would just on investments. It wouldn't. I was I was picking that number out of my memory, yeah, which is so, always a bad yeah. thing to do. Yeah, no, I got you. All right. So the 194 will have to go up some amount. 195, 548 will go up by yeah, the difference between 18 and 24. So, uh, what, what, what's the number again? The 24 number? 24405.76. Zero five seven seven six. No, two four four zero five period seventy six. Twenty four four zero five seventy six. Yeah. So I, you know, I have a fundamental comment on the budget. I I just think this whole in separating the interest thing out from the principal is confusing. Um, I I would like personally just like to see on the bottom part of this one payment, one annual payment, the same every year. I don't want to do that only because I want to be able to follow it and I can't follow it right now. Like right now I can't follow it. And I think if we combined it into one thing, I really wouldn't be able to file it. Well, you're not seeing the interest on all the other people seeing it. I know. So what I would actually propose is that amortization schedule that we saw for the winter, that we get an amortization schedule for each piece of equipment that lives behind this so that we can link the principal and interest to the individual lines. And that's what should be happening. And why do you why do you want to go into that kind of detail? I mean, a payment's a payment. because you well because off. right now we're just flat calculating like the ones that we're just picking a number because we think it's the right number. We're doing a flat calculation of ten percent on interest. Right. But the problem with doing that is we're actually paying a lot more interest early in the amortization schedule, so it's going to affect our reserve fund balances, and later it's going to tail off. So that will also have a positive uh, effect on our funds. So I think we actually need to apply the interest based on an, a schedule so that we know what our fund balance is. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with doing that. I'm just saying we don't need to separate the interest and principal. It can be one. The interest and principal sure. can be included in one figure. As long as we can follow it back to a schedule, yeah. Yeah, and I think the advantage of doing that is it, it prevents the possibility. I, I just to me, if you got more lines and more places, you got more places to make mistakes. Whereas if the really the purpose of this bottom part is to see this number, yeah. where we are five years out or six years out. Yeah, I agree. Um, is there any reason to budget interest separate from principal, Rosemary? Like. Well, we do, we budget it separately in the budget because the auditors always tell us that interest is an expense and principal is not. Yeah, that's one thing. I was thinking back to my EBITDA days, but it's been a while, I think it's a little rusty. But when you're standing, of course, when we in a traditional town meeting this year, and when you're standing before the voters, and the easier it is to follow the money, Keep the voters, but this isn't easy to follow. It, it is, and <laughs> but like where you show the revenue coming in for uh, restricted on line forty-two, the revenue for highway restricted fund 
if that number matches directly exactly with a number in the reserve fund table, you can you can talk to that in the entire meeting. Right. You don't want to have to talk to well, you would add line 43 and 44, and it'll come up with you don't want to have to talk to that. No, I want to talk to everything based on formulas. I want I want row 42 to be a link to the tab that has capital expenses. And I want to see the cell that it's linking to. Like, I don't even want to see a number entered in there. I want a link yeah. so I can follow everything. So we so stand before the voter, you won't have that luxury of the link here. Oh, I will. Well, this will be with me. Okay. <laughs> Believe me, I'll have a luxury. <laughs> Uh, bringing us into the state point of the center. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so where did we land? Don't worry, man. Nowhere. Are these so, new changes to the budget? Are there other ones that we could go over? Those are the only changes to the budget. Has um, Susan looked this over? No, she has not. I may I was making changes up until right before she was leaving today. Okay. But the changes we just made, uh, really it's going to change the bottom line of the budget. However, will not change the bottom line of what needs to be raised by taxes. Correct. So we'll be bringing more money, in, right? Money more in money in from the reserve. But it will change the balance of our reserve fund. And look, you know, out there a few years, we are way below the same public level. Same with the red. We're, we're in an uncomfortable zone, I think. Heartburn. <laughs> or, and four years. 29, 30. I mean, I know this is. This is really, really late in the game to be talking about. Can we, can we finish conversations on luck? I'm not kind of cut you off on this. Yeah. You have a good point. It's a whole other. Yeah, that's another conversation. Um, so, we can worry about that. Now. So, it is. Um, can I go on? Is there anything else on the regular budget that anyone else has? Well, did Brian have any other changes? No, he said no. What you got, Evan? No, not have any money else unless we wanted to increase expenditures. No, thanks. <laughs> What'd you have in mind? Um, <laughs> Too many things. Cash on hand uh, at the end of the budget. I mean, this is cash on hand at twenty twenty one fiscal year. Twenty one twenty two. That's the end of yeah. yeah that's the sep That was of September of twenty two. Right? June thirtieth. So that's what that is row 464 should actually be FY22. Or are you talking about which row are you talking about? Uh, I was just kind of going to ask quick questions about uh, one of these. Go. Uh, obviously, there is reserve funds for quite a few of them. Um, Hold over for the top of the parade ground, that small hold over for the bandstand, that small, but like hold over for the welcome center. What is that? Where we holding that for specifically? I thought that project was full of that. The welcome center? Yeah. Well, can you finish? This is that of June 30th. Fill more bills. And that's funny that we've spent since then. Right. We have spent money. money. Yes, a little bit. We'll know that after the audit, is that right? I guess we would. So next year, or yeah, next year. 
Why is why is the cell in row 431 red? Wasn't that one we were going to confirm? Is that why it was red? Row 431. Where where are you? Row 431. Estimated FY 2122 cash on hand balance. Why is it red? I don't think it's red for any particular reason. It's just been red. Okay. So you the two sixty one four sixty seven is something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I think what that is is when we built the budget prior, when we built the twenty one twenty two budget, that was our estimated cash on hand. The actual is, you know, where is it down the line 456. So, no, those are the same. So that wouldn't make sense. Okay, never mind. Line 482. Well, uh, sorry, Duncan, before we move on, was was the question about line 431, was that answered? That be it's fine. It's just, it's fine. It's okay. fine. Next time, don't print it in red. Well, there's a matching red down below, I suspect. That's well, when it goes in the town report, it's going to be black anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay so row 482? Yeah, the description available for community grants, I would be... I'd be happier if that said grant matching funds right. or proposed or right, possible grant matching uh, funds. Yeah. Yeah. Some morning like that would probably get a lot better. You got that, Brian? Yeah. I like that. I, I think it's clear, especially when you see the article right. in the morning. Um, what are we looking at? Three percent increase. Three cent increase. <laughs> uh, what line are you looking at? Where's it say that? There. Brian, is the table um related to the estimated tax impacts? Has that been updated and is that accurate now? Let me go ahead and double check the formulas. Is is eighty four? Is it was eighty four cents the tax rate last year, Rosemary? I think it was like. Wasn't it higher now? Can we double? Can we double check that just to make sure that that is? Actually, actually, the right number. <laughs> oh, that's what it looks. We proposed it at eighty-three. And the actual was eighty-four. That should be three cents, not three percent. Because that's just a. Oh, it, never mind. Never mind. I just never mind. That was okay. Yeah, it says two cents. That's due to rounding. It's eighty four and eighty four point forty seven cents is the current tax rate, and the previous tax rate was actually eighty two point five six cents. Yeah, we need to uh, increase the decimal points on that for sure. Okay. On all of them, actually. No, the four. Uh, at least three. I don't know about four, at least three. I think our, the well, I, I should say the form that Rosemary gives me about setting the tax rate is uh, four decimal places. So I can just I can do okay. four okay. here. Yeah. So four, should, yeah. four would make sense, I think. Yeah. Okay. So in the end, we're looking at a 3% tax increase. So we need to increase that 3% to have decimals too. 
So okay. should do the same. So it'd be a 2.593%. That sounds better. That sounds way better. <laughs> now with that, better than 30 or something. <laughs> with that in mind, there's a substantial tax increase going down. With, with that, that more 30, 32 or 30%. With that in mind, or seeing a future conversation, um, are we actually tied with the equipment schedule injection of money? I'm going to say on line 401, or we're proposing to put $151,000 in in expenditure for the capital equipment reserve fund. I have the same question. Capital equipment for Do you reserve. have to know that, Rosemary? What's that? Do you happen to know that the answer to that? That was a question. Are we tied to the number of projection or if the select board so saw fit to put $161,000 instead of $151, which was a projection, the select board is allowed to do that. It's not cash on hand that I'm proposing. We need to do the future budget. You can always change that budget. So we could possibly say 161000 there. It'll increase our budget by like 10 percent I understand that. We're but I think less than half of inflation right now. And mm -hmm. that number is going to be read in five years. Yeah, I, I think you're on the right track. The earlier on you do this, the bigger the impact is. That trying to reduce. I agree with it, too. Thoughts? Because ideas? we're going to be in trouble in one, two, three, four, five, six years. Um, there's another massive round of funding thing we can talk about. We could look at how we've allocated the uh, cash on hand. And well, I'm not allocating any cash on hand, I'm allocating that or proposing uh, increasing the contribution. That and and I, I think that's wise. But we can also increase the amount of one time money from the cash on hand. We were currently only vote, proposing 12,000. If, if the voters yeah. agreed to that, yeah. certainly. I mean, obviously, to your point, I mean, we're not keeping up with inflation at our current rate. We're going to be in serious trouble. Um, another way that it could be done, again, using cash on hand. I'm with Evan. I think we should just go right to the voters and bump it up ten thousand bucks the whole budget and not get into the cash on it. I mean it's two point five whatever three. We're doing right well. That's a really good well, line. What's the other line? Capital equipment small purchase equipment. Is it three ninety nine? That's three ninety nine. Was that what? It's three ninety nine. On the early reserve tools and equipment. That's my better judgment, Johnson. Which which line is that? Capital purchase. No, no, no. It's office supplies. The office supplies. Where I was going with this um, was so town office expense, small equipment purchase grant. Yeah, that is named very similar to the other one. It is, uh, but it's two oh eight. Um, and currently we have $20,000 allocated there. Um, I was proposing and throwing it out there, adding another $10,000 to this. Those two changes, if the board agrees with it, would increase the tax rate by slightly less than a penny. Um, but I think putting some money into efficiency for this building and the town garage, um, open house in the library could actually save the taxpayers in the long run. I'm not saying it all in one year, but so are you thinking of that as like a a one time increase, or are you thinking that that would be repeated year after year? Uh, or only for this year. Yeah. Right. But I think, uh, but I'm in in general. Are, um, is your thought process thinking that that line item needs to be bumped up a little bit? Um, 
It probably needs to be looked at a little bit more in depth, and there probably needs to be a, an analysis done of the building and what they really need for money. I know we've talked about it several times. We can save a lot of money and fuel down at the town garage. I think this building could benefit from some ventilation and heating on our face. There's been plenty of discussion at the Historic Society about needing the roof. Um, and there's some wrong in that building, which is only going to cost taxpayers more money the longer we let it go. I'm not proposing any one project and saying if we put ten thousand dollars more in there, we, we can either spend make it. the buildings more efficient or stop damage to them. We'll save the taxpayers money in the long run, and that's just my opinion. I, I think you're right. I don't think adding twenty thousand dollars to the budget is being egregious by any means of this board. So ten, ten in each of those line items. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. That's my conversation yeah. piece, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys can roll out. You want to make it a motion? I'll second it. Rosemary, do you want to look at line two fifty six? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's correct that it's going down eight. It is going to increase the five pennies. So we should be up to no. three percent. I thought it was going up, not down. Or instead of two percent change. Is, um, that's still under the half of inflation. I think she did it. That's a one. In the ballpark of the inflation rate. Well, we're considerably below it. I think yeah. that's good. And it's and I think due to the employees. For, I, mean, that's what I support doing. both proposals, personally. Yeah. Everybody else does, too? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's do it. I don't think we need a motion for that. No, we don't. Yeah. So, so line yeah, like the 208 is 30,000. So it basically matches last year. And line 401 is 161,000. I, I just really agree that incremental small increases are by the Delay, delay, delay. Oh, we're going to do it for fifteen percent. Now, I'll go back to the reserve fund. You're holding an extra ten thousand in there at the current uh, annual appropriation going out through the future. We are allocating an additional seven thousand. Should that be bumped up? It won't affect the budget this year, but should we bump that up to 10,000, in, increasing by 10,000 a year? It wouldn't hurt to look at the projections like that. Did you catch that, Brian? Uh, sorry, That's not you, something you 401, what are we changing? 401 to 161? Build this with the yes. Yes, 161 instead of 151. Okay. And I think the value in, in doing that is if this board in the next year is going to be having a discussion on excavator, you're going to want to make this reserve account a little bit more healthier than it is. It would be red for a few years. Yeah, but you're yeah. still talking about the 161, Eric? Yeah, well, okay. beyond 161. 161 is represented in 20, year. And I absolutely agree with you that, that we're going to have to adjust that, but I would rather see us do that as part of a more comprehensive review of the capital budget and plan rather than the knee jerk reaction tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we're we're making the decision to increase it by $10,000 tonight because we see a bad future. Well, we should be having that discussion before next budget meeting. Anyways, yeah. So. Well, before. typically we do have that discussion during the budget time because this gets public in the town report. And so, we, if you think that, you know, even just to make the, the account healthy, you probably want to bump it more than 7,000 a year. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and I don't disagree with you. I'm just a little uncomfortable doing that at the 13th hour. Um, because I don't think it directly affects this year's budget, whether we do that or not. I absolutely agree with you that it needs to be done. I just don't know that we need to do it don't, you don't. right now. You're right. Okay, so we've made the two changes. Let's go. Bless you. Anything else on regular budget? I uh, really like Susan. 
to do. Yes, this is half the review. Thing. And we actually probably need to have another meeting. I was going to say, we need to another day. So, so we need to do the capital first. So let's dive in. So, Brian, it looks to me like the sum of the other interest items comes up to 6,041.31. I don't know if I did my my numbers right. So you're well, one, the, so you're looking at the capital the capital plan. So the the interest is going to get bumped up to that 24, but the amount coming in from the reserve fund has to increase also by the sum of these four numbers, which I came up with 6,041. So the, the revenue line also has to increase by the same 6,041, or we're going to raise that money in taxes, right. which we don't want to do. I don't think. No, income should be the less Yes. Um, income from the reserve, because if we put the money in the reserve fund, the allocation to the sheet that we bring out. Exactly. The principal and interest should equal the amount that we're bringing out yep. from the fund. And if I'm doing my math right, that comes out to 200,589.69. That's what I've got. So, okay. Yeah. And that's what roll, is it again? That's roll 43. Uh, 200,589.69. That's the amount we're taking out of the highway reserve fund, which is on line, I think it's 42. 42, yeah. yeah. Forty-two on the regular. Forty-two on the regular. On the regular budget. Oh, on the, the sorry. Sorry, I'm looking at the capital one. So you're saying, correct me if I'm wrong. Lines forty-three and forty-four should equal that one hundred thousand number that you're talking about. On uh, are you looking at the capital budget? Yes. Okay, forty-three and forty-four. Um, it well, I think it's but line line L seven and the interest line um should equal the two hundred thousand. But those should equal like but forty four e. Should Oops. match L seven. Yeah, that's just a number. Anyway. Yeah, but the problem with this forty, this forty three number is Brian's already said that's wrong. Right. So yes, forty forty four. Okay. Yes. So that needs to equal L. It's good that the interest looks so much less next year. Impossible. I don't the future like year interest is going to be recalculated. Next year's should, interest should not look like this. It should actually look really high. It should look Wrong like way. well, we just which bought has, a greater, which has an impact on so that's why we're talking about the amortization Wait. schedule. So this year principal for the great for the greater should be eleven. I'm looking at a totally different sheet. So I don't know if it matches or not. Interest principal for the greater. If we started, if we had a loan start date of March 1st with a loan payment date of April 1st, big if, just throwing it out there, then our principal would be 11,700 approximately. Our interest would be 3,263 approximately for a total of 15,000. Next year, principal would be 484 approximately. Interest would be eleven five approximately with a total of sixty thousand. So that what doesn't match these numbers. Uh, that's assuming a five percent interest rate, which I think is low. Personally. When do you when do you think we can have a start date on the note? I called the bank today and they get back to me. So, if you sign it, if you're rather early first meeting or the. So that's the one I had plugged in. So March March first could be in the first payment due would be April first. April first. Or would it be March first? Would the payment be due March first? Okay. 
Yeah. But it could be much. But what, what's what makes the most sense from your perspective? So. so the first of them would make sense. The first would work well for you. And you don't have an idea when it's do you think you think it's going to be more than five? Um, I'm sorry, I can't hear Rosemary very well. So, what did she say about the five percent? I don't think it will be five percent. Hopefully, it will be less than that. Okay. Interest rates are high, high right now. We might need. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, but that's what it looks like. And, you know, that's the attachment I sent everybody. So hopefully you can open. I sent it earlier today. It's sent around three. Okay. So, anyway, Brian, capital. A lot has changed in the capital, yeah? Yes. Changed quite a bit on, on the capital. Um, I'm going to go over a couple format changes. So we were using the fleet section. This is the, you know, uh, A1 to F18. Um, and we were kind of conflating that with 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 the um, the total cost over time because that used to we used to replace things on a different schedule. So I've separated out summary from the fleet section. So this is just going to be what our equipment costs, what it would cost to replace, what we estimate it will cost to replace the equipment when it when it's due for replacement. Um. You know, so I'm going to populate the last paid when I'm in the office and I can get access to that data. Then we've got the replacement, which is a uh, an estimate of how much we think it will cost to replace that equipment when it's oh, due. Hold on, I'm confused. You're saying these numbers aren't correct? The replacement numbers are the best estimates that we have at this time. For some things, it's more accurate than others, like our greater estimate is not really an estimate because we we know how much that costs. The replacement cost for the uh, 2018 International HX is an estimate because we don't know how much it will cost in 2026 for that replacement. Okay, so, I don't understand what you're talking about that you don't have access to right now the last paid amount. I'm gonna populate the first column that's currently blank with- Oh, okay. I got you. What did we last pay for this? So we've got, a. am hoping that'll kind of illustrate what we paid for it last time, what its value was when it was purchased and the what we estimate the cost will be in the future. Right now, I've only got the future numbers in here. Um, and we were kind of conflating the two, and I think that was causing some confusion. Okay, well, okay, fine. Yep. What else? What? What's next? So the last column, the net cost, is what I'm using to populate. And for this purposes, I used just the same amateurization schedule that we used. Uh, uh, copies that I sent you for the, the other pieces to estimate more of the equipment. Um, but you don't need an amortization schedule for this because it's not including interest, correct? If the principal payments will change over time, so we do need that schedule uh, to know what the principal payments are going to be each year. And that will also inform what the interest payments are going to be each year. Okay. So when we go down to the equipment section, which is the A22 to uh, 20, or excuse me, uh, 45, 
in this section, items in blue are ones we actually have a, a loan schedule for. Items in red are ones that we are estimates still. Um, we will be using, those will be populated based on the estimated net replacement cost that we saw in the fleet section. It'll be, the exact numbers will be determined by an estimated amortization schedule, but they will be populated by that. So if you add up the five years for any of these, it'll come out. I'm not sure why yet. I have to do some, figure this out. It comes out right now about $20 less than the cost. So our estimated, our amateurization calculator is losing $20 for some reason. So Brian, with this sheet, you have plugged in numbers going out in time for the principal payments. Have you, yes. have you also plugged in a number for the interest payments going out in time? I have not yet. That is the, the current year's interest payments are correct using all of our schedules. I have not had the opportunity or the, the time to make that change for future years. Future so, years are still on a flat 10% estimate. I go back to my earlier comment about just putting a figure in here, which is principal, total loan cost, principal plus interest. It just simplifies everything because if the interest isn't in there we're not getting an accurate idea of what our what our uh, actual balance is on the fund mm -hmm. not heavily accurate but it's 10 percent of the net cost that they did in that little understanding 10 percent is in 44 line 44 beginning with so but none of the interest is being shown oh None of the interest has been, has been updated. Gotcha. The interest is just a flat 10% calculation at the moment on row 44 for anything future. I would like to bring up a couple of things. Which I don't know why that's. Yeah, go ahead, Evan. Um, the back hole specifically, is the salvage really going to be 16000 on that? I think all of our salvages will probably be higher than estimated. I think that for virtually all of our equipment, we'll get back more than we're estimating for the time being. 16,000 seems almost egregiously low. It seems like low. giving it away. Um, right? Don't consider a write a check. <laughs> At that price, um, alone, if you want 16 for it, I'll buy it. Right. Well, that one's a pretty big one that plays in. Uh, especially over the next couple of years. And I understand being uh, conservative with the numbers, but we could be conservative and still bump that up a little bit. But the back hole specifically, the town owns 80% of, and we need to have a conversation with the village. Um, so where I'm going with this percentage wise is we have a $173,000 budgeted. Um, as a replacement cost. And that is shown uh, on line 38 with the replacement of this next year. But that is 100% of the cost. If the village wants to follow the replacement schedule and continue being 20% owners, the town only needs to plan for 80% of that $28,000, which sounds like small amounts, but for 20. 29, maybe it'll keep this fund out of red. Yep. Um, so I think that's a conversation that the town and the village need to have at a joint meeting. Maybe the village wants to purchase 80% out of it. Maybe the trustees want to trade in and get uh, reimbursement for their 20% and they don't want to have ownership. I don't know. But those conversations do make a difference to the schedule and we can't even make assumptions on what the answers are. 
And is that 173 accurate? I think that was the higher of the two, was it not? Because there was one that was Didn't like 156 or seven. So this is the higher. Yeah, th this is the the higher amount. The the right. just similar to the you know that I think that we'll actually get more for salvage that will sell it for more than that. It is the I think everything in the highway equipment fund is likely to break in our favor rather than to our detriment. Okay, uh, I have a, another piece of feedback. The pickup replacement, row eight, okay. eighty thousand dollars. If you look at the detail and add it up, not sixty. Again, the the fleet section is the cost of replacing is not the total cost that we're going to spend over eleven years. That's why I moved the summary statistics out of that fleet section. It's it's the what we estimate the replacement cost for just that piece of equipment. I don't understand, Brian, because the detail on line thirty, row thirty three, has thirty five thousand in twenty twenty six and forty five thousand in uh, right. thirty. But that thirty-five thousand is assuming that we get twenty-five thousand for trade -in. That's the net. But we have a net calculation. That's the thing is we have a net calculation already, which is thirty-five. But that 000. cost of the fund is the net, right? I don't know. It makes no sense to me that you can't add these costs up to match the detail. It would be another one, right? But why are we like when we talk about summarizing all of these vehicles? The thing, where does sixty thousand come from? I don't understand. I would. I would like to take the initiative to get some real numbers for this because it bothers me that the 60,000 is nowhere. You can't buy a half number. Wow. The plow and sander on that truck is 18,000. I think it would be closer to 90 to 100 all else. Of it. And I have no problem going through and getting number, real numbers for all these for the future one. And I can work with Brian and give him the numbers, I guess, but it really concerns me when I look at it being kind of like budget that I'm responsible for that none of the numbers are accurate in the trading values or purchasing values. So it's going to make it, I think it's going to be a greater loss out farther. Again, that's the wrong way. I, no, but it points, it points we out. No, we do. And, and no, it's, it's too late in the budget season this year to be making those decisions. We, we need to. Well, none of we're not, we need to make those potential changes for next year. Yeah, really this year's budget. It's not going to affect the next two years, really. In terms of <laughs> you know, uh, we had the discussion at the last meeting that this summer. We believe that our capital equipment fund, the plan and everything is due for review. That's a good time to reconstruct this from scratch. You can start now. Scratch, and you don't have to wait for anybody. You can start whenever you want. And then it will be outdated by next year when we're on the budget. <laughs> But we do need to have a more. But you made the comment a, a meeting or two ago that the equipment dealers are telling you the costs are going up twenty five percent a quarter. No, five percent. Five percent. Okay. Yeah, five percent. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but that's that's information you can use. You know, I mean, that's that's as good as it, that's as good as it's going to get. Um, you know. 
that's the only thing I was trying to get across. As far as making a budget in prior years, it was probably easier because since COVID, everything jumped so fast that you can't really rely on, you know, a three or four year old number. It's kind of like a the thing I would propose for the immediate is Brian, you keep talking about having to make more updates. The question I guess I have for the board is it's not going to be perfect. What is good enough look like? Because I think that's where we need to figure out what good enough looks like and make it happen, whatever it means. Well, if we're changing the budget number this year um, on the annual appropriation then line 24 column E goes from 151 to 161. And then I think everything else pretty much as as long as we're pretty sure that the interest and principal payments for the 24 FY24 are right, then I think the rest of it becomes a discussion of it's it's revenue in, revenue out. Um, as, the conversation as long as those numbers match. As long as they match, yeah. But the conversation about the backup with the trustees, we need to do that. That could change depending upon timing, obviously, uh, and their wishes. Uh, that could change this whole equipment schedule for next year by $30,000 less. Than and if we have a discussion about the excavator, excavator discussion, could change the back home. I would bring this budget in red very quickly. Um, but yes, I get what you're saying. It is money in money. As long as it all matches up. Yeah. I think we do want to see this once more because the things we've talked about tonight are going to cascade through and change everything. On the reserve fund, as well as on the budget, we added uh, the ten thousand. Budget, we added twenty thousand yeah, dollars. Twenty thousand total. Oh, uh, and I would like Sue to review the entire budget. Yeah, that too. She usually catches a couple of nuances. And the is it better? Yes. But the uh, the reserve fund is definitely gonna, with everything we're the uh, increased in interest amounts we increase our contribution and that's going to cascade down through i would if we're going to do that if we're going to do that i would really like for, J for jason to say this number isn't this replacement number isn't close enough and actually you ballpark it like don't do don't do lots of work on it just ballpark what it needs to be closer to and give that feedback to Brian. Because yeah. I don't want to, frankly, I don't want to put a pickup truck. This I, I'm stuck on this because I'm stuck on it for whatever reason. But I don't want to put a pickup truck for $60,000 in a budget we're publishing in our town report when we know that is not the number. Right. But everybody knows a pickup truck. Everyone knows that's not the yeah, number. Yeah, but what people they don't know is the municipal discount that we get. But still, okay, that's pretty yeah. close to my minivan cost. Mm -hmm. So, 60,000 is not too far away from what my minivan cost. So, let's get a more accurate number that's there. Nice yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. And I also really, if we are going to continue to show this this way with the principal up here and the interest down here, in my opinion, the interest needs to be updated. Okay. You know, he's he's got the principal. It was 30, you know, so it, it sorry, can't be that added. much more difficult to add the interest in. And in, in, in we need to see that because, like you say, it's going to make a huge difference on, on the bottom line. On what we got left. Yep. Okay, Brian, you got that? I think I needed a few. Duggan, I'm not clear what you're saying about. The interest. He's saying that take that amortization schedule that you have for the greater, the one that I sent out, take that schedule, apply this for each of these lines, create a new amortization schedule for each of them. 
which the is the start year, the start fiscal year for the six year period or whatever the term is, however many months that term is, and apply principal and interest so that we're calculating the correct interest to fall in the correct year. Because if we don't, there is a possibility that in 29, 30, 31, 32, we are actually in the red because we have a high interest payment year based on our purchase schedule. So, so in other words, Brian, it looks to me like you have updated all the principal figures, the figures that you're showing in red or pink or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think I heard you say you had not updated the interest figures. That's correct. Okay. So what I'm what I'm suggesting is that you should take the additional step of of putting in the interest figures from the amortization schedules. Okay. okay. I I understand. That, that's fine. That was in the the email that I sent out. It, it just there was not enough time before the meeting to finish that before before the meeting. So when you have Sue do the review, well, we're all going to want to see it too. But when you have Sue do the review, just make sure she has all the documents for reference. Or if it's all in this one document, that's fine. But just make sure she knows that that's the case. And oh, I know the other thing I was going to say. And frankly, if we're missing twenty dollars in an amortization schedule, and that's the extent of it, who cares? Twenty dollars out of you know three hundred thousand, so it doesn't matter. You don't spend time looking for twenty dollars. I guess is what I'm saying. And then Jason, you'll get back to Brian on these high level numbers. Uh, just ballpark there, close enough or not. And one of the other things, maybe Lydia could help too. I don't know who could help. Somebody maybe could help. But I would just like to know that the detail lines add up to close to what the ballpark is. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be close. So the lines add up for each instance. But uh, using the pickup truck, there there are going to be over the, the length of time that we estimate for, there's going to be multiple replacements of pickup trucks. Um, right. Maybe that's not a good example or, or the for a tandem. If you take fine. the it's fine. But the thing is you have a bunch of formulas in here that talk about an 11 year period. And as long as you have those 11 year periods, you need to talk about all the replacements that apply. I'm looking for this. You have the petitions? This is a one. Oh, is it? Did you get a petition? No, I didn't sign it yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I thought you were talking about a petition for an article. So if you're just talking about like an individual cost of each thing, those still need to be updated. But we should not be referencing those numbers in any averages that are listed, and we are. I will will I will work on that. I will Okay. Um so we're going to need to get together again on all of this calendar, shall we? Are you ready to do this? Okay. Yeah. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. Are we meeting next Monday anyway or is that a we are. What's our deadline, Rosemary? 31st. Does that work if we meet next Monday? 30th? Going to the printer in 33. Yeah, we're going, we're getting this done next week. Yes. And you don't want to be on the 30th and have it signed then? 
I'm sure if it's a good yeah, sure. The warning, yeah. It's hard. So if we if we just add that as an item for the very day. first one, if we bump everything else, it's fine. Are we actually meeting next Monday? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't have next Monday as a regular meeting. No, we don't. Right. All in one week. Yeah, all in. So I'm gonna get to see you guys like four Mondays in a row. Fine. So, so when do we? Monday, January thirtieth. The first week is a Wednesday. Noon. <laughs> Does that does oh, that does that work, Rosemary? If we meet on the thirtieth, is that? Um, she so can't meet on the thirtieth. You all can meet without me, but I can't be here. I might. Well, we all have a Sunday. Yes, majority of the I know, but doesn't it look bad? Yeah, when somebody didn't sign in. What if I don't sign? I could come in first thing in the morning on the thirty-first. If you're sending it on the thirty-first. And if we could have it circulated before, yeah. What, what if there's a man in the door? On 31st? Well, we, the warning itself? I mean, we should be able to get through the warning tonight, right? You know, who's going to change the amount? I'm not worried about the warnings. Yeah, I can send, I can send in advance. It's totally fine. Yeah, well, it's just the amount. Here, it's just the amount. Yeah. Right. I don't, yeah, I don't want to say anything. So you want to meet first thing in the morning on the 31st? The thing is, the amount needs to be no. updated on the version I said. 31st, no. No, no, I'm saying you guys could meet. I cannot meet on the 30th, but you all could meet without me if you'd like, and I could come in on the 31st. I meet at 4 30. On the 30th? Meet at 6 or 6 30, whatever. Let me check my schedule. Retirement keeps you real busy in the winter time, doesn't it? I got a dentist appointment at noon. I should be out by four. I'm gonna have an extra body. It's like four thirty. But I thought maybe you wouldn't. An hour. And you can't be there at all on the thirtieth. But... Uh, not. I mean, I could be there if it's like. Schedule. I could be there during work. Would you just try it? I think I can. 27. I can't do this right. Uh, I don't think I can either. Well, there's next. I have, I have like something every day. I have commitments on Thursday. I don't, I literally don't have, I'm booked all week long. I really don't have time. Well, if we, That's if we do it Monday, time. it'll give Brian the maximum amount of time to. Get it done, Susan, to double check that. I mean, it could be like Saturday no. or Sunday night. No. But no, I can't be during the week, the next two weeks. Is, is Susan in uh, the rest of the week? As far as you know? Trying to get it. Both of those changes. Oh, let's meet this weekend and then take February out. <laughs> <laughs> we can meet up at my camp too. There's, there's actual other things to do with Al Mark. You don't seem to really like this whole select board thing. Um, okay, so Evan, you're getting off track here. So, what do you guys want to do? The 30th or no? I'm, I'm good the 26th, 27th, or the 30th. So. Deal. Whatever anybody wants. To. Eric? 26, 27, 30. Mark? Um, not the 26, not the 27. So you so the 30th. So the 30th. Evan? Yeah, I already said. Remember. What time? What time are we doing it? Uh, we really just have to come in and sign it. It's not going to be any changes made. You will want to just check things, I think. Well, I guess we better make it six there. Six. Yeah. We're meeting at six. Is that it? Yep. Right here. The thirtieth. All right, Brian, you're good with that, and Rosemary. Yeah, I'll be fine with that. And Rosemary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So next up is warnings. Um. 
So Article One is the standard list. Anything worth noting, Rosemary? Okay. Number Article Two is the um, school district board of directors. Is that going to happen from the floor, Rosemary? Or no, it's it all Australian. Even Article One, it's all Australian. Yes. No. Yeah, below nice. where it says annual town meeting. Nice. Okay, Article Three: Review the town reports to, uh, of the officers and others included in the annual report. Establish rates of compensa compensation for town officers. Shall the voters authorize total fund expenditures for operating expenses of X dollars, of which X dollars will be raised by taxes and X by non-tax revenues? I thought on that one we had. Uh, you had, and. The two estimated. Yes. Uh, we we're going to put estimated in front of non-tax revenues also, just to be clear. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the voters authorize the town of Johnson to raise appropriate and expend up to $50,000 for the purpose of hiring or contracting with an economic, economic development professional. So the voters authorize the town of Johnson to collect property taxes, standard wording, standard timing, and you've confirmed dates, Rosemary. Excellent. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson? Oh, Johnson looked weird to me. Um, the town of Johnson to establish a community grant match fund to be used for matching unanticipated grant opportunities that the town of Johnson would otherwise be unable to meet in accordance with. Blah, 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 to be funded annually by a dedicated line item donations bequest and for end of year surplus. Any comments, questions, concerns? Thumbs up. Should grant fund match be? I would strike community and just have it be grant fund match. Everyone good with striking community? Yes. Okay, striking community. So I'm a little worried about the phrase would otherwise be unable to meet. I think that leaves it somewhat open to somebody's interpretation of whether or not we could meet a match. We could meet a match or not. I agree. I was thinking the same thing when I read it. <laughs> so in that case. To the town of Johnson and remove would otherwise be able to meet. And even on anticipated grant opportunities, what if we were anticipating the grant? One after a grant. Okay, I'm going to reread it. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish, add the word to, establish a grant match fund to be used for matching grant opportunities of the town of Johnson. Uh, so okay, I'm starting, I'm starting over. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish grant match a grant match fund to be used for matching grant opportunities in accordance with BSA blah, 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 to be funded annually by a dedicated line item donations bequest and or year end. End of year surplus. I like that better. I like that better. You know, somebody's going to say, well, how much? But are they going to vote it down when they say how no. much? No, it's still supported. Can we read it again? Are we good? Read it again. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish a grant match fund to be used for matching grant opportunities in accordance with 24 VSA 2804 to be funded annually by a dedicated line item, donations, bequest, and or end of year surplus? And so many. It's shorter too. Funds. That's all the better. And it's shorter. 
There's already a lot of those error comments. Yeah, yeah, that's the only comment you're going to hear. Not that this one has bad intent. No, I don't think any other ones have bad intent. They all they got they all have good intent. <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> that was a close one. They all had bad intent for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know until the grants clear whether they're bad intent. <laughs> I'm good with that wording. Yep. Did you get that, Brian? Or are you going to send that one back? I, I've got it. Okay. Uh, shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish an art establish an arboretum reserve fund to be used for the preservation, development, and health of the Johnson Arboretum in accordance with the SA blah, 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 to be funded annually by donations or bequests dedicated to the arboretum and or unspent funds dedicated to the town of Johnson Tree Board? The word two needs to be added. Where? After Johnson. After Johnson, yeah. Um, to establish. Yeah, two. Yeah. Same place as above. You you read it without actually. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I shall I try it again? I'll try it word for word with the word two this time. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish an arboretum reservation reservation fund to be used for the preservation reserve fund? Thank you. To be used for the preservation, development, and health of the Johnson Arboretum in accordance with 24 BSA. To be funded annually by donations or bequests dedicated to the Arboretum and or unspent funds dedicated to the town of Johnson Tree Board. I, this is a small change, but at the end of the first sentence going into the second sentence, the phrase to be used for doesn't really need to be there. It, it could just read establish an Ar arboretum reserve fund for preservation. the preservation development. Yeah. Do we want to cut out to be used? Yes. Yes. From yes. the previous one. Now, that says to be funded, not to be used. Well, in Article no, Eight, say, shall the voters? Okay, I got gotcha. you. We could. So, shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish a like grant, grant match, match fund point. for matching grant opportunities? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while we're up on that one, do we call it a grant match reserve fund or a grant match fund? I, it should be grant match reserve fund. I okay. Think. I think you're right. Thank you. That doesn't happen very much. Can I get that in report? <laughs> you can. It's in the minute. Let me sort of device to make because you're you raising another point. You're, you're hitting on all cylinders again. Yeah. Yeah. Very unusual. I don't know. I don't know a lot of that. Okay. Do See, that's that. what I mean. <laughs> exactly my point. Okay. So, uh, Article 10. To hey, Brian, did you follow the changes in Article 8? Because we said we were done. Um, but I just want to make sure. I'm taking a picture anyway. Okay, I guess Beth is going to take a picture and send it to you. Sure. But did you? Yeah. Would you like me to read what I've yes. got? Yep. Great. Shall the voters authorize the town of Johnson to establish a grant match reserve fund for matching grant opportunities that the town of Johnson, in accordance, hold on, that's in accordance with, for grant opportunities, in accordance with. For matching grant opportunities in accordance with 24 VSA subsection 2804 to be funded annually by a dedicated line item, donations, bequests, and or end of year surplus. Okay. And can you read us what you have for Article 9? Article 9, shall the voters authorize the Town of Johnson to establish an Arboretum Reserve Fund for the preservation, development, and health of the Johnson Arboretum in accordance with 24 VSA subsection, subsection 2804 to be funded annually by donations or bequests dedicated to the Arboretum and or unspent funds dedicated to the Town of Johnson Tree Board. And uh, um, wasn't there a discussion after subsection 2804, that 2B. No, no, it's going to be in a different place. Uh, we cut a different 2B. You're good. You read it the way we talked okay. about it. Okay. Good, good, good strike. Could. To be funded? Well, I thought we had to talk about the funding. 
Why you, you do well, the two B. It could it could just read funded by, funded annually, rather than to be funded annually. by. But it's okay. Yeah, it's it's just two little words. Okay, Article Ten to transact such business as may be properly brought before this town meeting. Okay, whatever. I hate the words. It's very legal sounding, but whatever. <laughs> That right. probably has been in there like but forever. But would it be better to say transact any any other business rather yeah, than I think, I, I think you're right. I think it's usually any other business. Yeah. Transact any other business that may be properly brought before this town meeting. That's a catch-all for everybody that wants to have a non-binding. Yeah. In which case, the moderator is the one that determines whether it's properly. Okay, are we done? Is that a wrap? I guess these are not. It's not the end of the agenda. I guess I should look at that first. Uh, it is again. the end of the agenda. Thank you. The only thing I'm wondering about Article 9 is it says and or unspent funds dedicated to the town tree board. It doesn't make any actual reference to where those funds would come from. Yeah, we I, talked a little bit about this last time that we didn't want to call out a specific line item in the budget. Well, I don't want to call out a specific line item in the budget, but I'm wondering if it should at least reference the budget in some um, way, shape or manner. You know, I mean, this the town of Johnson tree board budget. Funds dedicated so maybe instead of dedicated, it would be unspent funds as budgeted or, or something like that. All depends it, on how much their budget would grow. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it's a slippery slope. I, my only point was that it, it's not really identified where those, you know, what those unspent funds, where they would come from. I think that's kind of what I was getting at last meeting, but I was a little certain. But it sounds like, according to Eric, the Arboretum and the Tree Board are one. Well, we're setting up. Arboretum is more like an asset of the town for which the Tree Board acts. Really? But they are the same people, the same yeah. for now. For the time being, for the time being, right? Yeah. Anything can change. They may become the most popular place in the jobs. Good. So you're saying it's I under unspent French budgeted to the town of Johnson Tree Board? Because it's budgeted, it's not dedicated, actually. I don't like the word dedicated, also. Yeah, I think budgeted. Budgeted is more appropriate. So we just replace actually, dedicated with budgeted? Yeah, because they're not yeah. actually dedicated funds sure. in the yeah. terms of dedicated money. Right. Um, yeah, budgeted to the town tree board. You got that, Brian? I did. I do. Does that really say how the on-spent funds would be applied? Do we uh, would the select board do that in the budgeting process? Would the tree board come to the select board with a request? Typically, here? yeah. Typically, the company that wants to roll funds into a reserve account would come to the board and request that unspent balances for their budget items get rolled into those funds. And at the end of the day, if we if we did that and created a deficit, then this board wouldn't likely, I hope we wouldn't do that. Perfect, yeah. Um, so I think I think the request is made by the entity that wants it, but the overall decision on whether to approve it gets looked at by the board in the budget context. That makes sense.
So there really isn't much here that looks controversial, but uh, I'll just throw it out. Does the board see a uh, value in running it by our attorney? Well, we got a week. We'll have more changes. <laughs> um, sometimes the Secretary of State's office will review articles. Who would you prefer to send it to? Fresh out it won't hurt. What's that? Who on the board? Is it you, Rosemary? Or is it Brian typically? Like, who, who does this kind of? I made some changes to Brian's. Okay. Are you recommending we send it? You're asking the question. But... We have in the past, but it's usually been some articles that were a little. No, look at it's different than those last two articles. Yeah, those last two, which they aren't real controversial. It's when we've had some convoluted articles that we want to make sure we got it right. Well, it's possible. I mean, if somebody challenges it from the floor on in one of those articles, I don't know, Steve Walter, they could probably find something that would be an issue, but it would just mean next year you'd have to put corrected articles or they would I mean, amend it from the floor. I don't see why we wouldn't run it by the Secretary of State. And we can do that, but I will say that the Secretary of State is not the equivalent of having a town attorney review it. I understand. So, but... Do we want the town attorney? I don't really care. Either way. You're saying no? No. No? Yeah, I didn't think it was probably a lot of value. For the town attorney or the secretary of state? Yeah, okay. the town attorney. Just because I don't think there's any offer. I don't really care either. So, okay. Um, let's just run it by the secretary of state because why not? And but it would take the attorney out of it. Anything, any other business? Meeting adjourned at 9.03. Really? Morning. Meeting next month.